Welcome back to another book review. Today we're looking at a catalog from Redfield, and this is from 2010, titled The Soul of the American Hunter. And here we can see on the front cover some stock photography of uh, some antler racks on display. So, obviously the hunting theme going on. If we continue on the back cover, it does appear that this is actually a full gatefold. And here we can see a couple, a couple of paragraphs on the warranty. On their products. And contact info at the time. Again, this is from 2010, so feel free to research current contact info and product offerings from Redfield. And you can see at the time, it is a brand of Leupold and Stevens, Inc. So, if we go back inside the front cover, we can see also here photography of some of the staff, stock photography, and this is a gatefold, and then we have the opening paragraphs on the product line, and a little bit on the history. Continuing. So here made in Oregon, and then we'll just have some highlights on some select members of the staff and their history. Real quick there, here we have a little bit on the revolution. Continuing, again this is from 2010, so we're going to have a uh, to research current specifications and product offerings since some time has passed since then. Again, members of the staff being highlighted. Some data tables, sample reticle information. And then some of the scopes themselves under the revolution category. Continuing. Looks like we got into the Rampage category, spotting scopes. Again, staff members. A little bit of the feature description. Stock photography. Here we get into some binoculars under the Rebel and Renegade categories. And some of the highlights on these. More staff members. And here we get into the Raider 550. Some range finders. And then we get into specification tables for each of the product lines. I don't know if you've noticed throughout the entire booklet, the style of the presentation, too, is almost uh, three-dimensional, the way they've gone up against the uh, wood background and then actually inserted these informational pages as if they were actually stapled on to uh, the surfaces. So it's kind of neat. Old bulletin board style. So continuing... You can see some accessory items. And we're inside the back cover. So just a quick look at the 2010 catalog from Redfield. Feel free to research current product offerings and contact info and specifications for Redfield. This has been another a book review. Feel free to check out other book review media reviews on the channel. We also do unboxing videos as well as show and tell videos on vintage, mill syrup, tools, and expanded topics. And we also do a series called Curios for the Curious, videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.